What's going on everybody? Uh, today I thought I'd show you my Nintendo 64 collection. Um, I picked up the console. It's kind of a present really for my 30th, but yeah, I've got a uh, 64 again. Super Mario 64. I've got a new CRT TV, a Sony uh, tr uh, Trinitron. Trinitron, say that 10 times after a few whiskies. Um, yeah, so the 64 is just there plugged in. You might be able to see a little bit of it. I'm not going to show the console because everyone's seen the 64. It's in fairly good neck, it, quite good neck. It didn't come boxed. I'm not bothered about a box because it's storage in it. I'm not going to be putting it on a wall somewhere. I don't have room. So I'm not too bothered it didn't come in a box. See, it would have been nice obviously to come in a box, but see, it would have just been put in a garage anyway. So, you know, it's the box games I'm more concerned about than a box console. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get into it. Uh, it's a good TV list. I've recently got it um, for 20 quid. For a decent size, a Sony CRTV, it's uh, at one point people were giving them away, but picking up a bit of steam now, and it's hard to find them actually. There's a few on eBay, but it's collection only because they weigh a fucking ton. People, people have forgotten how much these weigh. I tried fucking taking up the stairs by myself, and I'm sure I've got 15 hernias just from doing that. But anyway, it's going to be a long video, so I better start um, showing you the games for the 64. I've got some new ones. That have just come and the uh, ones I picked up with a console. So I guess I'll start with, uh, with the ones that didn't come boxed that I will be getting a box for at some point. Actually, I dreamed that many that didn't come boxed. Really? There's only three. I'm sure I had more than this. But anyway, yes, perhaps it's only three. Okay, fair enough. I thought there was more. So, Super Mario 64, the cat is shagged. It needs to be changed, it's a bit battered. Um, so, as soon as I see a decent box one in the future, I will get that. It's it's actually it's uh, it's um, contacts are a bit ropey as well. Like you got to push it in and just give it a slight little bend as well uh, to get it started. So the contacts have gone. People are drawn on it. So yeah, but it's good enough to play because everyone loves a bit of Super Mario 64. Funny enough, I showed me why if a trailer of it, a trailer of gameplay of it, and she went, "Oh my God, is this the one we've got?" I said, "Yeah," and. Uh, it's too much you played. <coughs> Excuse me, I've had chocolate. Right, <coughs> straight into the games. The unbox ones. Super Mario 64. A lie that was, which I'm not sure how good this quality is, but let's just say it, I'll tell you if you're in bad nick. That's an okay nick. A lie that was, or Star Fox 64 from America. It's called Lie that was here. <coughs> Star Fox 64 sounds better. Um, one of my favourite sports games of all time, uh, 1080 snowboarding. If you like snowboarding, if you like any sort of sports games, if you like a bit of atmosphere, <clears throat> this was the first game as a kid that showed me how important to the, the atmosphere is because it's just great. It's not just about doing stupid, stupid mental tricks to crazy uh, soundtracks. It's actually a bit of a sim, and it's, and and the atmosphere is just great. It's it's just cool. That's unboxed and I want to get that box because it's fairly cheap to be honest to find box. I just got that when I got the system. So, you know. Next I've got boxed. So I'll show you the box first. Uh, some I've taken the instructions out already to show you the insides. But Star Wars The Rogue Squadron. I've opened it all. The box is in fairly good nick. Uh, for me, the boxes don't have to be perfect. I'm not going to be paying hundreds of pounds for slight it's like pristine cardboard. I don't give a shit about that because as a kid, my boxes weren't pristine. I kept them good, but I didn't keep them pristine. So as long as they look nice enough, I'm fine with that. And this Rogue Squadron is nice enough to me. It's got a few little nicks, but I'm really not too fussed about that. It's got a bit of tape on that to keep it. I'm not fussed about that. It looks nice. Um, and my cart is in good nick as well. Beautiful nick. Um, and it don't come uh, with instructions, it comes uh, with the console instructions and a cardboard sleeve holder, which I'm fine with. Next is a Quake. Uh, you've already seen the gameplay of this. It's actually a really fun game. It comes uh, with a black uh, tray, which is cool. And the instruction manual's got a bit of a bend, but other than that, the fucking pristine. Great. And the box is alright too. The box is in good nick. 
Um, if you got a 64 and you like first person shooters, or say if you just got one and you played 2016's Doom, then you'll probably like that, so give it a go. Next, let's go with Pilot Wings. A launch title for the 64. I never played this, and I always wanted to, and now I have, and I'm actually enjoying it. It's a bit of a sim, it's a bit of a flight sim, and people who know me and now I love me sims. So even though it's got cartoony graphics, it's actually pretty hard to do some stuff as it's sim like physics. This box I probably will replace in the future because it's a bit too much for me. It's got a big bit pulled off here, but it's in fairly good nick. It's around other places, but the Say if it didn't have that, I'd be happy with it, but since it's got a massive tear in it, I'm not totally happy with. The cardboard sleeve is alright, but the instruction manuals are absolutely... It's like someone's pissed on them for 10 years, the battered. But yeah, I probably will get another box for that at some point. This is going alright, I think it is. The battery's lasting. Next game. Yes, the last two games. My pride possessions so far. Turok. This box is, for me personally, is almost perfect. I mean, you can probably see from the video. It is a beautiful condition and uh, the artwork. This game alone sold me uh, to get an N64. I didn't give a fuck about any other system. So as a kid, as a Jurassic Park fan, I saw this so and I said, Dad, I want this game. A weapon stab of a Velociraptor. And the rest is history. The instruction manual is in pretty good nick. God, they're so thick. You didn't have any of this. You know, it's even got a little comic inside that. that it's so cool. I forgot about that uh, comic inside it. And uh, the sleeve is in good nick. Yeah, oh, Torok. Fucking I love that game. One of the reasons I got an N64 again was to play this. And I can't wait to play it on this big screen. <laughs> big screen, 24 inch. And CRT TV, well, that's pretty big because, you know, it's hard to find a bigger one, to be honest. You can't really fit bigger ones on there. So it's about as big as you can go because, you know, it's fucking huge. Uh, lastly, there's a game that was originally £40, £39.99 from WH Smith. I remember when WH Smith sold games. Tour 2. Again, in fantastic condition. I actually offered uh, this person more. This person selling both of these games, I'll show you this instruction manual. Extreme G2, I got that after playing this game, because I thought, that's good if it's advertising that. I was still a kid then, I didn't understand advertising. But I thought, oh, if it's related to Tor, and the iguana symbol, you probably can't see that. But as a claim, iguana is ace. Um, what was I going to say to you? Yeah, so I offered um, this geezer that was selling Torok and Torok 2. Um, Set amount, he was bidding started at some 9.99. So I sent him a message and I said, Look, I'll give you so and so price for each of them. And he said, uh, No, I'll just let the bid let it bid out like. And I went, Fair enough, it's their the, uh, products, isn't it? Okay, fair enough. So I put the starting bid in of a 9.99 for these uh, like conditions, that's good. And that was the only one who bid when I got it. And I thought, I'm glad I did that. And I bet the person's thinking, why the fuck didn't I tell you what he offered? It wasn't much more, but it's about a tenner. You know, uh, in total, he could have got more out of me, but he didn't. So, yeah. And uh, it said it would take a week to come, and it came in two days. So, yeah. <sighs> I cannot describe how happy I am. I could keep this video going. Just talking about how happy I am to have the 64 stuff back in my life. I've been talking about it on Twitter for years. I regret I had a box 64 in about 2010, 11-ish. No, 2009, 2010. I sold it uh, before moving to uni because of space. I was moving into practically a room. And it, oh, just as I sold it, the retro boom went. And what I probably got for 70 or 80 quid, I could have got multiple hundreds at least <laughs> for the stuff I had before but yeah I've got the expansion pack inside the 64 the official one none of this third party stuff sticking out um, yeah I've got um, a few other Nintendo retro consoles which I will do uh, uh, videos for down the line but I kind of think that this uh, video is turned more into a retro channel than anything else 
like just talking about that, it's modern gaming I think, I talk more on Twitter, is how can you show a modern game on on the camera, I don't have all the expensive um, recording software to connect to the TVs, I'm not going to pay for that because I'm not interested at all, I'm not going to record it off screen, <laughs> and uh, the game boxes come just with a sheet of paper and it's a box, everyone knows what they look like, I might do the odds really a cool special edition, but barring that, I think it's going to be mostly a retro channel. So if you like that, that's cool. And obviously just uh, talking about my gaming memories and stuff, which I think is cool. But yeah, I've got a few other consoles, I've already got them. Um, so, Nintendo consoles. So, just wait for uh, more videos as I will do them. And I've, I've already got games to show you, so I can't wait. But for now, let's let the 64 uh, kick in. I might do a few more gameplays of that. And yeah, so please enjoy and uh, let me what you think. Uh, tell me what you think. And now I'm off to play some of this beautiful 64 on this Sony Trini Trolley fucking CRT TV that weighs a ton. Thank you very much for watching. Please post comments um, of anything. You know, just just communicate over me. I like the good old days because I miss them on YouTube. It's the spooky one. Cheers, guys. Bye.